A wandering atrial pacemaker occurs when there are multiple areas of depolarization within the atrium being conducted towards the ventricles. These action potentials come from different areas, also known as ectopic foci, other than the SA node, and each generating consecutive action potentials, making their way down to the ventricles. This translates to each QRS complex being preceded by a P wave, but each P wave will have a different morphology or shape, since it's originating from a different area. This is in contrast to normal atrial conduction from SA to AV node, where the P wave preceding every QRS complex has the same shape or morphology. That's because these P waves are coming from electricity originating from the same place every single time. Remember that the shape of the P wave comes from the vector in which electricity is being directed towards the EKG electrodes. And if multiple foci are firing and generating different vectors of electricity, as in the case of a wandering pacemaker, the EKG electrodes will display this as different shapes. This is one of the defining characteristics of a wandering atrial pacemaker on an EKG. Specifically, you should see at least three distinctly different P wave morphologies. And because you have multiple ectopic foci generating action potentials, you may see that people with a wandering atrial pacemaker rhythm will have an irregularly irregular rhythm. Lastly, these EKGs should have a ventricular rhythm less than 100 beats per minute. Anything greater than this would change your labeling of your EKG from a wandering atrial pacemaker rhythm to a multifocal atrial tachycardia. So in summary, wandering atrial pacemakers are defined by two characteristics. The first is that there should be at least three distinctly different P waves, which is the result of action potentials originating from different atrial ectopic foci. And the second being that the ventricular rate should be less than 100 beats per minute. So that's it. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to this channel to get updates on when we release our latest videos. And don't forget to follow MedSchool on social media.